people would come, were looking around for different, uh, like organic talent. From the invincible fish that people listen to dissing you, I'd rather be trying to talk sense and you rinse and you clean. Of nastiness, but blasphemous MCs can crash my bus. It's the strength of the seven that we concentrate. Deliver it to the masses and the response is great. Enunciate with accuracy and back. You will see the black to it. My crew at the time was the Unity Committee. And uh, it was me, Mark Seven, and Cut Chemist. I had the biggest crush, and still kind of do, on Charlie Tuna. I used to live for Unity Committee. When you think of Unity, Unity Committee and Charlie, you think of the voice. Charlie's voice, really, you, you can't put that in the back seat. It's so booming, it's so technical, it's so choppy, it's, he's so distinguished. When you hear Charlie Tuna's voice, you're like, this, this guy is dope, he's gonna be big, and you know, things turned out good. <laughs> In 94, we uh, met a group called Rebels of Rhythm. They was like uh, melodic, and yet still uh, had. Like, myself and Mark Seven had this cool little pass the mic, like run the MC kind of thing. But it was real, like technical. These dudes were like that, but like routine, like, like old school, like cold crushes kind of. So I stepped in them and I said, you know, I really like your style. I have this beat. Uh, they like the beat. They started writing to it. And I thought, you know, as, as, a, as a kind of a tip of the hat to my crew, maybe you can feature my guys on it. And so it would be like a Rebels of Rhythm. I mean, featuring Unity Committee since I did the beat. And so Charlie and Mark got in on it, and that's kind of how it started. It was magical when they when they joined team to form uh, Jurassic Five. When we finally solidified as a group, um, we had DJ Newmark, um, myself, Charlie Tuna, Akil, Sue, Mark Seven. It had a certain dynamic to it. I think the MCs were, were always different. I just remember the first uh, song that got played in New York was JU. Funkmaster Flex was playing it, and then it got signed by a label in England, and that's when everything started happening. We're not falling, we take it back to the days of yes, Charlie. We're holding on to what's golden. No, 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 on the stage, I'm rolling. We're not falling, a shot calling. We take it back to the days of yes, Charlie. We're holding on to what's golden. No, 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 on the stage, I'm rolling. Rolling. Magic, pop music, 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 music. Stuff with Jurassic started to pick up like crazy. We do sign, we do quality control. We had a gold record already overseas, so anytime we went overseas, it was just super love. We wouldn't get that same love here, but it was cool because it kind of supplemented our income. We was able to do weird tours and be on the apples and once again warp tours and Lollapaloozas and all these different like rock tours that you know rock group wasn't able to do. Especially a group coming out the good life, it was like it wasn't no rock groups at the good life, you know what I'm saying? So it was just cool, it was real cool to be able to do all of that stuff. It's a muggy Friday night in Los Angeles. These men have shared a stage with Bruce Springsteen, with Fiona Apple, with Green Day, and Outkast. Not something a lot of hip-hop artists could say with the song Work It Out from their new CD called Feedback, Jurassic 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Los Angeles, okay.